In today's video, we're doing something a little bit different, aren't we? Yeah, we decided we're going to make our own lures. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> we were going to need a little helping hand to actually pull this off in a day. So we contacted our friend Luke on Instagram, who runs a successful lure making business called Bully Baits. He's made hundreds of interesting designs and created lures for the likes of Ginger Fisherman, Neil Spooner, Des Taylor, and our favorite promise, Nag Bro. It was going to be a challenge. It's a little bit of competition. I would like to try and see how well we can do this, but I assume you might be better than us. Don't guarantee anything. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're going to start. I don't know what to do though. So you're going to have to help me. Cool. Imagine if I caught like a, my 20, I've been after a 20. I don't know if you know, but I've been after a 20 for what seems like forever. And if this piece of wood caught me that, I would just bow to you and just be I'll really say happy. There, there is a, a 20, as I sent you a picture, there's yeah. a 23 pound three pike in and the lake. Have you caught that? I've caught that, I caught it on Christmas day two years ago. We traced out our pre-made template to give us a good chance at a working lure. Okay, so what next? So we're gonna move over to the pan saw. Health and safety. Oh. Sharp bit. <laughs> Health and safety over. Cool. Am okay. I gonna get you losing a limb on camera? No. <laughs> Oh, I hope it's not a limb. <laughs> Jeez, imagine just be confident, Luke. I've just got Luke in my head saying, be confident. After the in-depth safety briefing, Callan started to make our initial cuts. Oh, do you see how, do you see that? That's skills. It didn't even pop, it just, that was beautiful. We then moved on to the disc sander to smoothen the profile of the lures, removing any rough edges left from the bandsaw. Okay, so, We'll compare, compare so far. So <laughs> mine, mine's slightly thinner, but... Yeah, yours is really thin. That'll probably be a disadvantage. Oh, really? Yeah. Because you've got less wood to less, work with. Less wood. We're going to know the... I've measured out how much lead we need in that blank. Right, okay. For that thickness of wood. Oh, you I haven't. haven't me I haven't measured out what Ooh. I need, so mine's going to be a bit of a guess. So the next thing we're going to yeah. do is we are going to drill some eye locator holes. But for some reason, this seemed like the hardest task so far. Put, put another <laughs> My one's added a rough knife. <laughs> we want to get it straight as possible. As possible. So. And you saw my cutting of the other lure earlier, <laughs> and you thought, mm, best use the best use the machine for this one, right? Exactly. <laughs> no, you're not meant to say exactly. <laughs> this is really fun. I'm really enjoying myself. The next few stages came quickly. Using the drill press, we created eye markers, checked the lip slot was the correct width, and then marked out our next cuts. Luke, my belly's rumbling, and also it looks really confusing. Can, can we go for lunch Let's go first? get some food. Yeah. Danny, did you want to do this part afterwards yeah. as well? Because we said you're going to do drawing, stuff. painting and stuff, and you want to use that as yes, well? Yes, I do want to use that. Well, let's have lunch first, get ready, and then you can have a, have a little go. Sounds good. Okay, let's go. Nice. Your turn now, Danny. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a go. I am super clumsy, so I hope I don't lose a finger, because if it was gonna be anyone, it would be me. And this is the most complicated bit as well, so I'm gonna give it a go. But I need to test it out first. <laughs> yeah, I'd, put, I'd, I'd say practice. Practice on something that is not the actual lure. I there's been a lot of hard work put into this lure. I know, so I don't want to mess that up either. Hold it down so it's sat on the table. Just keep so it with the, the tail on the bottom. The back? So, the so just tail. keep it onto the table, yeah. <gasps> That's all right, you, you all right? She's good. You got, you got 10 fingers? She's yeah. got 10 fingers. So, so that's... Note yourself, don't let go of the thing. What, what have you, you done there? You bloody jinxed me. Did you let go of it? I did let go of it. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my hard work. No, that's the practice. This is, one. This is the practice. One. Oh, it's the practice one. It's the practice, oh, one. It's the practice one. Oh, thank gosh. After safety briefing 2.0, we penciled in the top profile of the actual lure. No second chances this time round, Danny. I think I'm going to keep him with quite a fat head. Talking about the lure, or? Yeah. <laughs> With my confidence restored and all fingers intact, I got to work making the last bandsaw cuts. We then went back to sanding, which felt like it could be a bit of a reoccurring theme. Did 
that looking like? So yours is looking better than mine. Yeah, mine's looking wonky on one side. But I'm hoping once I start carving it. Can't have a wonky lure. It's gonna, yeah. Mine's got a <laughs> couple of wonks. As a bit of a surprise. Oh yeah. Here's one, some I made earlier. However. Okay, oh, it's got a, lo it's got a logo on it. Hang on, what? And our faces. And your faces. Our faces. There's in my a face. How? There's your face. Wait, what? What? Oh, there's literally our logo on there. That's so cool. That's awesome. So they are. That's a nice little touch, I think. I've already got a name. Oh, have you? This what? is this is Stanley. 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 Like the knife. Stanley, like the knife. <laughs> <laughs> are we are we done yet, Danny? What's going we, on? We have been here for two weeks straight in this position. <laughs> <laughs> and we you're, are getting there finally. You're looking pretty fresh for two weeks. Using the forster bit, we drilled out lead holes. This would ensure that the lure sat on the water correctly. We had to be quite specific, as this could make or break them. See you in another two weeks. We've got our lure made, sanded down. We've now got fishing, which is going to slot into here and make a lip so it dives and does all of the cool stuff. I'm learning quite a lot. Don't know how much I'm going to remember of all of this, but it's been a really fun process so far. And no a and &E trips just yet. Uh, no, you nearly did. Almost. You but... almost did. <laughs> I was just checking how awake you guys were. But I feel like we're, we're past the... Scary pros? I mean, we've still got boiling hot lava. We're not, we're not getting our fingers near anything sharp, sharp and hurty. Just boiling hot. What, what could, could go, go wrong? wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so this is because I am allergic to super glue. So we're going to be covering the lure completely in super glue now. And if I don't wear this, I will be sneezing for multiple days after. <laughs> okay, yeah, I so, just best put it on. So we, like Darth Vader. we will. I'll put this on, and you won't hear me for a little while now. So <laughs> is that what you wore through COVID? Exactly. <laughs> I'm just in my private time. <laughs> we applied glue to ensure our lures were watertight. Is it going to yeah. be like really? Yeah, I'd say that's done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. With a steady hand, we carefully poured lead into the belly of our lures, fixed the lip in place and added screw eyes. This was the moment of truth. Would it float? That sounds like it sunk. Does it sink? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's on me. That's on me. It that's sunk. fine because we just drill a bit of lead out. Moment of truth, Danny, again. The second time, part two. Do you think it's going to float? No. <laughs> well, that's not very helpful. It does feel quite heavy, actually. Here we go. Yeah, it's floating. Working? Nice. We pop, out, pop up rate nine and a half out of ten. You just ten. Made, made that up, but it's going to be part of my terminology now. <laughs> We're ready to start testing it in your little pond you have, right? We'll go in. Give it its first outing. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to catch much though with no <laughs> hook. Right, we've got to be quiet because there's a couple of fish in here and I've spotted them. Just got to jig it slowly. Oh, he's turned, he's turned off it. <laughs> That's looking good. I'll leave you with the rod and I'm going to watch. Oh, it works. It works. Sigh of relief there. I'm freezing. Can we go back into the garage? Uh, <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> it's just us freezing. <laughs> Let's go, because we wasn't too lucky in catching out of the pond. Maybe tomorrow we'll catch something bigger. Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's so cold, it's so cold. Wait, have you got the lures? <laughs> I don't have the lure. Where's the lure gone? Danny's taken over the sand in because... I should really be saving my hand for painting. Sorry. But you don't get away with it. You have to do it. Being the professional. It takes so long. It looks so dodgy because I can't see the lure. <laughs> I can actually sit back relax now. Isn't that what you were doing all day? <gasps> wow. wow! Wow! 
the most important part of the build was upon us. A pike just wouldn't want to eat a bad looking lure. We had to put as much time and effort into our masterpieces, a bit like Picasso. That face of concentration. Well, don't get that in. <laughs> <laughs> don't get that in there, because I have an ugly concentration face. This wasn't just a lure, this was our lure, a piece of art in the making. Step by step, it was coming together to think that with the help of Luke, we turned what was just a piece of wood this morning into something we could actually go out and fish with. Picasso would be proud. Well, after five weeks, we finally finished our lures. <laughs> no, it's only been a day. One day and we've made two lures. Which is quite impressive for one day. Yeah, it really is. Luke has made something just spectacular. The paint job on that is incredible, by the way. I'm Thanks quite impressed, you know. I have Thank to you. say. Quite really impressed. impressed. And we've made this one. It's got our little logo Bacon from the logo. front. And I'm I have impressed. From the start to the finish, you guys have like, taken to using the tools that you're not comfortable with and not used to. And I think you should be very, very proud of yourself. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Appreciate proud of that. us. Are you proud? I'm very proud, but I'll be even more prouder when we catch a fish with them. And that'll be in the next video, part two. And hopefully we catch a big pike. They will pike. see who the pro and amateurs are with Ro that rolls, one. Rolls are reversed. <laughs> I'm ready for bed though now. <laughs>